Ah, there is our other new recruit. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, well, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. Neva's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. You'd better not disappoint, or you'll find yourself answering to me, personally. All right, let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before yourself. Hey, if you've got a problem, I can decorate that wall behind you with your brains. Room could use a little color if you ask me. It's all right, neighbor. I admire this Rook's backbone. Takes a lot of guts to crack jokes with the threat of death staring them in the face. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead rooks. You'd think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story. Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. Griggs led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Subarov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Crix left a lot of big talk on that recording. And not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UC Sistef. You forget the UC is still licking its wounds from the colony wars. They don't have the capability to mount a full-scale assault. And if they were foolish enough to attack, we would have the manpower to push those pendejos right back to Jemison. If we have Crix's legacy. Exactly. Now you're beginning to understand. Okay, enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. I am looking to start something, because I'll finish it.
About time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Del. Yeah? We will see. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? <laughs> Fine. All right. Listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative, bring it straight to me. <laughs> it's so simple, even a rook like you can't screw it up. Hold on, no scrapping. How the hell am I supposed to make money around here? All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice ball without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, keep talking, wise ass. Throttle it down, both of you, right now. Oh, and there's one more thing. Your little friend can tag along until we get to the outer doors of the prison, but I will be damned if I'm letting them inside. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving.
we are. The place where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy, and eventually, the Crimson Fleet. The Lock. Yeah, he needs to get this thing open, like, right now. It's freezing out here. Then crank up your suit heat, Mathis, because it's probably not going to get much better once we are inside. All right, let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. I have been inside this part of the lock, so keep your eyes open. See anything unusual? Call it out. If it's hostile, take it down. Couldn't be simpler. How many people did the UC stick down here, Dal? A couple of hundred at least. Might not look like much. It's better than trying to survive on the surface. Not much better. Even with the heating on, this place looks like a goddamn dump. Now you know why the prisoners got fed up and looked to Griggs to lead them out of here. And that's how the Crimson Fleet began. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard the story. It's not a story, Mathis. It's history. Remember that. Now, keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. Sure. Must have been awful. Better them than most of them. Wait, half a second. Did you hear that? Whoa, something's out there. be a nest. I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. If we weren't on this job with Delgado, I'd drop you for saying that. Enough already! I should have known better than to bring both of you at the same time. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area. But everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open?
There's no way we're getting through here. Well, this is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? Yeah, sure. I've got a few spare months to cut through all that rock and ice. Let's face it, we're on our own now. Why? Because that's what his loyal little soldiers are supposed to do? The hell with that. I have a better plan. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado, and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. Oh, come on. We're just a couple of rooks. When are we ever gonna have a chance like this again? Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct, and there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. Are you crazy? I'm no rat for Delgado. I'm busting the ass to become one of the Crimson Fleet captains just like you. And in case you missed it, that icefall trapped both of us in here. Unless we find a way out, no one's reporting anything to anyone. Ever again. No, 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 no way. Listen to me. We're going to be handing Neva leadership of the Crimson Fleet on a platter. She'll be thanking us for getting rid of Delgado. I mean, come on. I'll bet you a month's share that he's never been this vulnerable. It's perfect! Oh, fine. Suit yourself. You know, for a second there, I was almost starting to respect you. Now, let's find a way out of here. <laughs> I guess that's one way through. gonna be doing something fun like rob a bank or something.
like there's a guard tower overlooking the cell block. We should check it out. years all day. Eh? It's amazing this entire place hasn't collapsed by now. putting ice in me drinks ever again. Must have burned some serious cash when they lost this place. <laughs> Serves them right.
hear that? Ah, never mind. This place is starting to get to me. We should talk when we get into the tower. So, have you changed your mind yet? Yeah, right. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they've probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for us. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. We just have to get our hands a little dirty. Wouldn't be the first time, am I right? Of all the people to get trapped here with, why the hell did I get stuck with you, huh? Fine, have it your way. So, now that we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? Keep doing what we've been doing. Right. <laughs> Glad I asked. I suppose we should start off by searching the tower for the location of Crix's cell. If he stashed any useful information, it might still be hidden somewhere inside. <laughs> 